Right guys, I'm currently in the studio with Disciples and we're having a heated debate about music, politics, shirts. Um, guys, how are you all? <laughs> Good, thanks. Good, man. Amazing. Can we get you all to introduce yourself, just for those people that may not know you all individually? Hi, I'm Gavin. Hey, I'm Gavin. What's going on? I'm Deval. I'm Luke. Guys, how are you all today? Your studio is really dope, by the way. Thank you very much, and we are good. Good. I actually saw your YouTube video when you were all recording in here, and I was like, oh my god, we're actually in the studio. So is this where you record everything? Straight goes down. Stuff, yeah. Majority of stuff, yeah. You so made it sound like um, that song, Down in the Deep where it goes. I'm like a sample, but <laughs> I just come in at the right time. So. It's actually true, yeah. 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 No, it's pretty cool to have your own space, though. Yeah. If we were not here, <laughs> if we were not here, and let's pretend management aren't sitting on the sofa over there, yeah. After hours, what goes down? Because I've been in some interesting studios after hours and there's things that go down and extra they, people arriving. If, if the artists tell you what goes down in their studios after hours, and it's they're tame. lying. <laughs> they no, I've actually been there to see tame. it. Oh, they're, they're, they're okay, so is, is it like reckless or is it more like cups of tea and biscuits? I go home at seven. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like the person that's not contributing then? No, no, I'm, I'm the person, I don't, I don't like to party, I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, uh, he's lying. Is Lying. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. biggest lie. It's the biggest lie. No, I mean it differs every day. Like we obviously, we obviously are about our work, so that's first and foremost. But yeah, we like to let loose a little bit. But Shoreditch House is just down the road too much. Just pop in there, just mm -hmm. have a few drinks, and come Came back. Up there. No, we don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't come back. That's yeah, a lie. Table tennis yeah, yeah. all night. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Guys, life is good right now. I feel like um, the name was floating around for ages, and then the Calvin track definitely took you to the next level. And um, Kelvin is definitely a character that doesn't work with a lot of people. So the fact that he totally wanted you guys, you guys to work together and then co-signed it in a big way, why are you grinning? Mm. Like, is what's the grin about? Is there like an in-joke that I don't know about? No, no, it's just, I always do that, I grin. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> Kel, how did that connect happen? It, was it just a business move or did you guys actually hang with him? Because I feel like he doesn't just do business moves. He paid us. <laughs> You paid us a lot of money. For, I hear you, you must have got seriously paid for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, yeah, so after we did They Don't Know, which yeah. was um, one of our first releases that kind of hit the streets. Mm -hmm. You can say that. Yeah, hit, hit the streets. streets or hit the airwaves or did yeah. well on Radio 1. He sort of um, got in contact and we sort of built a relationship from, from that point. And then uh, we ended up actually signing um, to his publishing company right. and started working on, on different stuff. Um, and one of the tracks that we had sort of recorded and done over here, <clears throat> we sent over to him, which was How Deep Is Your Love. Um, it was actually the first track we sent over. Okay, <laughs> before you tell me the rest of the story, people that worked with him have told me that he is brutal. And he'll be like, we need to switch 20 seconds in. He's, he's how was brutal. he when you did that? When you sent the track, how much back and forth was happening? There, there was a lot of back and forth, but there was a lot of back and forth to be fair. <laughs> there was a lot of going back and yeah. forth, but I think, um, uh, he, he was brutal, but also he was very open to listen to what we had to say. It definitely was like a balanced sort of... If you if you heard the original, original demo that we did and the end product and where it veered off in the middle and kind of came back, it's like it, it very much is a, um, a mix of our, our, our minds mm. together. So he's very... He, he's brutal because he knows what he's talking about, though. Mm. Do you but know then what I mean? at the same time, even if you haven't had the same sort of success as he has had, if you're a creative person, most creative people are... So Super like perfectionist, yeah, and we are, super we passionate. Are like so I would think you would have still held your own <laughs> and be like, no, no, hold it down. Sorry, this is what we want to do. Yeah. So was that balance important as well? It was all over a kick, a kick gun. Yeah, it was about kick, a kick and, the, and the warmth, and that was it. Yeah, the warmth, the, warmth. the kick. He wanted to make it more EDM, more hard hit, and we wanted it really soft because if you listen to They Don't Know and Daylight mm. and a lot of our songs, it's very, very we've got that IB for kick. Yeah. You know, a lot of yeah. our music is quite heavy, quite dust, dusty, and his one's quite tight and. On, dun, dun, on the dun, money, yeah. So when we kept sending emails back and forth, he was like, "I don't want it that hard." He was like, "No, you listen to me." And he was like, <laughs> no, you listen to me. And, yeah. I love it. And, so, so, but and then we, when we, when it was like mixed and mastered down and everyone loved it, like, did you yeah. all just spaz out? Did you all do like a group chat? What happened and what were you? That's the thing thinking? with him. Like he was, like, he sent us a few versions and he was like, "Well, it's done." Yeah. He was like, "What? Can't be done. It isn't finished." Everyone that heard it was like, "No, it can't be finished." And then we added a few other things as well. Mm -hmm. And then it went to Mix and Master and we was like, bro, how did he hear that that product that we thought wasn't really finished? When it went to Mix and Master, it Perfect. sounded like gold. So he's got that ear that's... Mm. Mm. That's, that's why he can, he can make them records and he's got the experience to just listen to him and say when something's done, it's mm. done. I, do I it. feel like though, also, um, it's his biggest, one of, if not the biggest track when he plays out. 
um, and other DJs that I talk to and producers, they're like, that's Calvin's like, he's coming into a different world because you say you made it a little bit softer. He was Mr. EDM and now you listen to the album that he's just dropped. Perhaps the inspiration yeah. and working with Beginning you guys definitely transition. led him to that. And you know, that's what he's good at reinventing himself. Does it feel cool to think perhaps you, you were part of that for him? Oh, definitely. We changed yeah. his life. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They changed your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, we always, um, no, he changed ours for the better. And the thing is about oh. Calvin, he's, um, He's very accommodating and he brings us in. He just, it wasn't just, oh, give us this track, let's do it together, mm -hmm. and then that's it. Like, he brought us on a lot of the shows he did in the States. We went on Jimmy Fallon and did that live, yeah. which was incredible. Awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, we did a little live set up there. First time ever performed on TV anywhere. And yeah. sometimes people think, you have this one huge track, can you live past it? You have. Yeah. Um, is that a relief? Is that a, like, they can lay off us now? It's not just how deep is your love. I know you've had music before that, but I feel like there was this big pressure on you guys. Well, yeah. you putting, putting it in that way makes yeah. me feel better, because I never yeah. really put it in that kind of sentence you've before. Got Stamp off Max. We've got a stamp. <laughs> Boom. That's it. Down the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. It, it feels good. The thing is about the world that we're from as well. We put out EPs after that because we're we love for the love of house music yes. anyway. So how deep is your love came at a point where we were just continuing doing what we were doing anyway. Mm -hmm. So it was just a nice little catalyst, but we still put out a club EP straight after that, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and now having on my mind to do really well. And it's huge, that track is massive. Thank like, you so much. Random, but Lauren Pope, I was with her last week and she was like, that is my favorite track. Oh. She said that she's in your DMs, not in a dodgy way, guys, hold it down. Yeah, she's like, yeah, you yeah. need to hook her up for some party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we saw hook her up, yeah, right? Because yeah, yeah. she's forever promoting your track. Yeah. I'm like, guys, look after her. She's mm. single, by the way. Oh, is she? She's having trouble with love, though. She needs a good man. We were trying to help her out, but she was like, I always track the wrong one. So, um, oh, do you? Who, not me, her. Oh, right. um, you three, who's single? Any? Anyone single? No. We keep, we um, keep pretty private life private. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Try and keep a private life private, but this, okay. com this conversation happens all the time. I'm engaged. Oh, congratulations. That's yeah. amazing. Thank you. Are you like fully involved in like wedding prep and stuff? No, and this is uh, the biggest problem. <laughs> <laughs> How this come you not? You, you seem you don't you don't care so much. I mean, it's gonna be her way at the end of the day anyway. Nice. So I just I just turn up in my shorts and just rock it out. But you can't turn up in shorts. You can't. Well, it's in Santorini. It's in Greece. It's hot. I've got hairy legs. <laughs> who who would you get to perform at your wedding if you could pick anybody? You. I can't sing on that, <laughs> so that'd be awful. Can you DJ? I can DJ, but probably, I don't know if you would enjoy, no, you would enjoy my set, I play good music. There you go. Unless you don't. I don't uh, play EDM though, and I'm like, oh, EDM. Okay. As long you as like you, it house, a bit more house. Yeah, as long as you don't speak politics. <laughs> and we listen to a lot of hip hop outside of Yeah, I love that. Music, so, yeah. mm. um, okay, what's happening with music though? I mean, our aim is to release, the thing is, on my mind's still growing, so it's kind of yeah. hard to release as it's growing. What happens though, because I keep talking to cool DJ producers and they're like, they're not into this whole control situation. Like, if this track needs another three months, we gotta hold the music. It's like, no, we're putting our music out. People are now dropping separate projects away from the re release, release stuff through the labels because to. of this reason. Yeah, you have to. Depends what your music is mm. as well. It depends what where your music translates to. Because ours is kind of both. We do club, but also our music also crosses over. Yeah. So you have to let both of those worlds breathe and have the music. So you know mm. they hit, they reach their peak. Um, this year we slightly flipped on its head a bit and we're going to be releasing a lot more, maybe even a secret EP with someone that's been on one of our records before. What, a producer? Another producer? Can't say. Well clearly it's a producer, it's like, the nerves, like you're rubbing your legs. Um, another Can't say her name. Who have you worked, oh it's a girl. <laughs> oh interesting, what, so um, it's going to be a collaboration? So we're going to do that and then also we're releasing a club record so in... just slip uh, past that. It's <laughs> 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 good. Ignore me, I'm not here. <laughs> Through that, don't want to answer yeah. it. I'm moving on. Okay, carry on. We're going to release another record. Actually, at the end of this month, we're looking at hopefully beginning of July, um, mm. and we're really excited about that record. Um, What's it sound like? It's a banger. You're gonna say that. <laughs> You're gonna say that. It's always a stupid question when you say that to an artist or a musician or a DJ. What's it gonna say? Is it good? Of course. Uh, I tell you what. You guys never, will say it's the sickest thing ever. Never spoken about the record before, obviously, because we. Haven't had the chance to, but we like you. Has he said this so, before to somebody, guys? No, I actually haven't. We <laughs> okay. haven't. So it's like, I'll tell you a bit, little bit about it. Okay, it's, amazing. It's touching on the tribal side of house music. Cool. That's that sounds as, exciting. Yeah. And you got, I'm assuming you've got a vocal on it because now you're like living in both worlds. You know, radio love a vocal. Um, so have you got Have you got the the singer or the person that you wanted on it? We've got a few singers on it, actually. But nice. for you, like, you're a vocalist as well. 
Yeah. Like you're obviously you, you're a great singer as well as a producer and a DJ. Do you ever think I'm a part of a solo project? And these boys can do the beats. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had that conversation? Well, the, was like, the, the funny thing is, like, if when I do come to do the solo project, which I, yeah, I yeah. am doing it. Okay. And Guys, are you in into the producers? Is well, it I, that's, a, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> inevitably, know yet, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> inevitably, I wouldn't really want to do a lot of the project without them. Would it be very different to what you make with Disciples, though? It will, it will harbour the essence of, mm -hmm. definitely. But it will have its own stamp, because obviously we, I was producing and writing from before Disciples, and I want to carry on with that kind of left field pop stuff I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, but now Disciples was born, yeah. That's that's going to bleed into whatever I do coming out from Disciples and I can't wait to see what that sounds like. Mm -hmm. Luke? Yeah, uh, for my own personal stuff, I've always loved underground music. Because you were artists before you linked with them, right? Yeah, we were all doing our own little things, but for now, my mind is consistently on the underground stamp when it comes to Disciples yeah. and our own stuff because Wherever we go in the world, they always say, you're so cool, but you do commercial music. You can play at Amnesia mm. on a Tuesday, and then on a Wednesday, go and do BBC Radio 1 live, like, mm. a, like, like yeah. a live lounge. That's crazy. And there's not a lot of people that can do that. Like, mm. We had a lot of cool, credible house DJs come and watch us in Amnesia last year for the opening. Mm -hmm. Like names you would never think of, just popping into the room like they've got the room full. This is crazy. What's going on? And then they're seeing it's us, and they're like, "Oh, for you, for you guys." Oh, that's a prime example. Claude von Stroke. Oh yeah. yeah. We're gonna <clears> party <throat> with Claude von Stroke at um, Snow Bombing, and he came behind the decks and he was like, "Bro, I just watched your whole set." He was like, "I didn't know you guys played like that." Mm -hmm. Right, and that's a wonderful feeling because I'm all about like, all three of us, but mainly mm -hmm. our, our thrive of keeping that essence of us knowing the balance of both worlds. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important and I was definitely one of those people too because like I had to, I, t I watched your whole set, actually I think it was Mixmag or somebody you did yeah, on yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah. and I was just like wow they're actually sick, they do a proper specialist set. Mm -hmm. But it's that balance isn't it and it's like I think it's amazing that you're able to be part of both worlds because in a sense you're opening the doors, you clear, you are, you know it's culture but it's so important also to remember that you guys do it for a reason, your, you know music is important. but. If you can do both worlds, why the hell no. not? Yeah, not. because it's a lonely yeah. road as well. Like you don't really, I, I can tell you why people don't do it. You don't, you're not in, you're not in a world. You're not in a, mm. you're not in a group or a clang of people. Like there's loads of different house, like subgenres. Sub they don't, they don't consider us, us a part of them, but really respect what we do. Mm. So it's been a lonely like four years, but at the same way, at the same time, the position we're in now, you can look back on those four years and be like, yeah, I wouldn't have done it any differently. Yeah, mm. we like that. We don't want to be a part of anyone's world. I don't want to be a part of something you We hate started. everyone. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be a part of what they started. But I think all three of us, even individually, have always been like that. I think that's why Naturally. it works. We're always like, we're not really, we're kind of part of that, but not yeah. really a part of it. Kind of a weird kid. Started this, but not really, you know, a part of the full, you feel what I mean? So we're always yeah. like, doing our own, that's how our minds work. So when we come together, we're, we're fine with, with that. That's kind of mm. how, how it makes it's sense. It's funny because you like to talk like MCs, because this is kind of like how MCs talk normally. Like how what, like, 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 no, because like, 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 Bowler hat. Bowler hat. <laughs> <laughs> he just thought about what he wears. Like, yeah, bowler, bowler hat. hat man. Yeah. Bowler hat. <laughs> Your yo's are good though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it a yo. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. this is like something yeah. you need to yeah. explore. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, Kevin, like, what are you yeah, doing? Well, it's like you got there after the oh no, it's like, oh. <laughs> 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 let's stick to house, let's stick 